Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on crypt arithmetic. So in this we are given a division. Okay, and we have to find out these different letters. What digits do they represent? Right. So uh, this is like demise is being divided by stem, and we get the quotient as out and the remainder as ist. Okay, so these will be subtractions from these digits. Okay. uh so we will have to make a table like this 0 to 9 all digits are being used now first digit first the easiest to identify in this is uh one would be like i minus c gives us i that means c is 0 so that is the easiest of the all and the second easiest is stem and stem right so that means c first of all we will multiply stem with o then we will multiply stem with u and then we will multiply stem with t so when we multiply stem with u we get the value as stem so that means u is 1 okay all right now uh, we have to look at one thing that stem is multiplied by o stem is also multiplied by t and we are getting d uh, we are getting four digit numbers right so if we are multiplying a four digit number If we multiply a four-digit number, which is not starting with one, because u is one, okay, which is not starting with one, so it can start with two, it can also start with three, and it can also start with four, okay. So we have these possibilities, and we also know that uh, when we uh, multiply with o, we get a four-digit number. when we multiply with t we get a four digit number that means we are multiplying these numbers must be among s o and t must be among 2 3 4 5. because if we take any of these numbers 5 right let us say we take o is equal to we cannot take s is s is equal to 5 suppose let us say we take it 5000 right 5000 something like a b c whatever you want to take And if we multiply by minimum two, okay, because these will be minimum two because one is not possible, okay, and zero is already taken. So if we multiply by minimum uh, two, so five thousand into two will be greater than ten thousand, isn't it? Will be greater than ten thousand. So a five-digit number. That means that s cannot s can be maximum up to four. Okay. Similarly, if we are multiplying, uh, let us say s is two, right? We cannot have five here. Okay. So that means these values have to be between two, three, and four. We cannot have more than four out of these, right? So it is yet to decide which one is which, but we uh, can find out that these are till four. Okay. All right. Now let us notice one thing that we are getting zero as c. How can we get zero as a as the last digit? So zero comes as the last digit when we multiply some digit by zero. That gives us zero as the last digit. Okay. Or if we multiply five with an even digit, that also gives us zero. So there are two possibilities. Now we know that neither of stem, neither of like neither of m and o is zero because c is zero, right? So c is not present in any of these. So that means okay, we will not consider this case. We will consider this case. Okay. So five into even digit is zero. Now we just now uh, talked about that these o, s, and t cannot be five. so that means m has to be 5 if m is 5 and o is an even digit we will get 0 so we will put m is equal to 5 right m is 5 and this is an even digit now if we see this m multiply by 1 is this 5 only m is giving m right stem multiplied by so we will we multiply the rightmost digit first right so m multiplied by t gives us m so what does that mean ki t has to be an odd digit so if we multiply 5 with an even digit we get 0 but if we multiply 5 into odd digit we will get the last digit as 5 okay so that means that t is an odd number 
and what we talked about s for t is among 2 3 4 so that means t is 3 so t is 3 so s and o are 2 or 4 okay so let us do one thing let us write this number whichever we have figured out and try to multiply so s we are not sure t is 3 uh, e we are not sure and m is 5 okay and uh, into into t is 3 and uh, s n o okay s is uh, s and o are 2 and 4 okay so if we take uh, so this is 2 and 4 so let us put uh, let us do one thing let us put 2 and 4 and try to find out which is which okay so if we have uh, let us say if we put s as 2 right or s as 4 right so if we take s as 4 s as 4 and uh, o as 2 okay we are not sure of so we will get 43 into 2 is 86 right 43 into 2 is 86 okay now if we get a carry then it should be greater than 86 or it will be if it is not a carry we will be getting 86 but it is last digit is 5 which is which does not look possible because uh if we multiply 43 by 2 right we will get 86 and the last digit cannot be 5 it is either 86 or it will be 87 and we won't get a very high carry from there okay so whatever digit you take you cannot get 9 as a carry okay so that means our assumption that this is 2 and 4 is wrong we will take the other way round right so let us take s is equal to 2 and uh, s is 2 and o as 4 so s is 2 and o is 4 okay so we are going to multiply this and we will we are going to see that what do we get as the result okay so m is 5 and this needs to be filled right so 23 into 4 is 92 okay can we get 3 carry here can we get and we know that this is uh d m o c right so o is already 4 so we will put 4 here okay so we have assumed this is 4 so we'll put 4 so 4 into 5 is 20 that means 2 carries okay now 4 multiplied by something and uh 4 multiplied by 3 is we cannot put 3 here right because it is m m is a different uh, sorry we cannot put e e cannot be 3 Okay, so that gives that uh, gives a number ending in three. If we put eight here, okay, eight gives us two as the last digit. Four into eight is thirty-two. Plus two is thirty-four. Okay, so we get three as a carry, and then twenty-three into four is ninety-two. Plus three is ninety-five. So this makes sense, isn't it? So if we put e is equal to eight. And O is equal to four, then we get this number nine five four zero. So we get all these distinct digits, right? So that means S T E M we can fill S is two, E is eight, stem is done. Then O is four, okay? And then we have uh, D as nine, M O C. Okay, so these are all filled. Now we are left with two digits and uh, two these things as well, right? So if we uh, if we consider this, right, multiplication by three, so two three eight five into three is what? Fifteen one carries twenty five two carries seventy one seven one five five. So Z must be seven. So one digit is left, which is I. So I must be six. 
okay so here is the customized solution for you okay so you can just do this two three eight five and just verify that if we get everything in place and o u t is four one three okay and demise will be nine eight five six two and eight okay so let us see this if this fits so into four we found out nine five four zero which gives us 316 3 is uh, T T U I so T U I then S will be taken now okay and this is S one time is 2385 that will give us 7 and 7 and 7 so triple Z 777 seven, seven. okay and then we have the next last digit that is 8 and it is multiplied by 3 that is 7 1 5 5 okay and this then we will be left with 623 okay 6 is i s is 2 and t is 3 okay so that is the that is the actual division that will happen right so now let us answer the questions the first question is what with what digit does m represent so m represents 5 what is the quotient that is out? So out is 4, 1, 3. What is the remainder IST? The remainder is 623. And what is uh, what number is represented by dices? 9, 6, 0, 8 and 4. Okay. So this is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.